everybody it's Rhonda here from Nelson Soapery. Today we are going to be doing a really fun video. I have spent so much time researching and I can't tell you how many dozens uh, of hours I've researched to try and find a concrete product like uh, Cemental. Uh, we do have it in Australia but most uh, places that you get it from will make you buy 10 bags which equals up to close to $800 so it's just absolutely crazy but I did actually get a link from a lovely lovely girl I do actually have a Facebook group and in that I actually wrote does anyone know what else I can use and these amazing women stepped forward and let me know so a huge shout out to Zara um, and Tracy because they were absolutely amazing pointing me in the right direction uh, and so now my journey has led me to this amazing product so without further ado let me show you the product and um, we will see what we can make now this is the product we're going to be using so it's called Hydra Stone so you can see here it is a cement based with the plaster and so on so when you're actually making things like candle jars we actually need something that has cement but also has like a plaster of Paris or something like that in it so this is super super hard it's been used for a long time I've been told and it is half the price of jasmineite so of course we are going to have a go at this so pretty much it's similar to cemental where you've got your product and then all you do is add the water mix it all in pour it in the mold so it's quite simple really but uh, I have to give a huge shout out to the ladies at Barnes because I bought this from Barnes in Australia uh, online their website was down and they were so nice and honestly the shipping two days it took to get from another state to me so a massive shout out to them they definitely stepped up and helped me and explained everything so if you're looking for this product definitely go online to a company called Barnes which is B-A-R-N-E-S uh, in Australia and I'm sure they'll help you out so this one here so this is like 21 kilos I think and this particular product let me get nice and close so you can see exactly what it is um, it's paintable and lots of other things but I think it ended up costing with shipping $139 uh, for this bag which um, to be honest it was very similar price to cemental that in Australia the time I get it and we're shipping so uh, very similar but anyway I'm very excited to get going and give it a go so to start we are going to make something similar to this this is a product that I actually made the other day it is still drying doesn't it look super cool I wanted it to look like a you know just kind of a little bit of a blurry kind of uh, watered uh, look and I really love it so I've actually used a mica to achieve this kind of look in it and um, I've watched so so many videos online um, and I will actually pop down another YouTube lady that I learned a lot from and she's absolutely amazing so shout out to her she's in the US but she really has taught me a lot and um, I've watched every one of her videos some of them I've watched two or three times so anyway this is what I made to start with now I did make this with jasmineite uh, because I had some jasmineite so all I've used is mica I mean of course you can use pigments and paints and all different things but I literally just used a gold mica to try and get this and I don't know whether you can see it because this one doesn't show it but I also did a glitter so as I turn it um, it does actually have a little tiny bit of biodegradable glitter in it um, but I can't see it too much at the moment because obviously I had to sand it and this is not totally dry once it's dried I'll put my sticker on the back and I'll put some little silicon feet uh, on the back and then that is the tray so doesn't that look cute so I want to make these in a few different colors so this is obviously the beige color I do want to make it in a cactus type color and also maybe like um, a burgundy or something I'm not quite sure but for now this is the first one that we want to do so we do have these molds you can get these at Kmart if you're in Australia uh, I'm sure the Dollar Tree or Walmart or something in the US will have them as well and uh, there's probably so many places Amazon I know AliExpress there's so many places you can get them but I got these from Kmart so they're like five dollars each and that's what actually makes these trays now one thing I have learnt from the other lovely lady I've been watching is if I show you can you see the little bumps here 
she said look don't get too finicky about those and I agree with her because when people are buying this they're buying one that is handmade so it is not going to be like a factory um, although I pressed it and pressed it to get all the air bubbles out every now and then you'll see one or two but I don't think that matters and I am going to seal this this is not sealed yet so it will look beautiful once it's sealed and have that really um, organic authentic kind of look so like I said I've got two of these so we're just going to pop them down now this new product that I'm using pretty much all you do is add water you need to um, get the powder soaking in the water so I'm going to pour all of that off I'll show you exactly how I'm doing that um, and so on and from what I've read from this product you do need to measure everything some cements what you can do is literally pour your cement and then slowly pour the water um, and just make sure that you know you get the consistency of pancake mixture that you want but for this one it says you do need to make sure you mix it with the right amount of water because if you don't what actually happens is it causes the products integrity not to be very good and it may not be strong enough so that's what we're going to do and I have ordered some new candle molds from Lee Molds in Australia as well so once they come in that's the actual jar and then we'll make those as well but for today let's give this one a go and we'll see how this product comes so I'm very excited to see how this one comes out and um, works so let's get going all right I am back so this is what it looks like it basically looks very very similar to concrete but it's lighter so which is kind of good for me because I want a lighter finish of course I'm going to be doing some candle jars to test them out to see how they go first so in here you've got three parts uh, of your powder so of your um, hydrostone so in here I have 180 grams and then I have 60 grams of water in here so it says you don't need distilled water or anything else so I'm going to use normal tap water see how it goes this is only a test and then basically it takes about 20 to 30 minutes to dry so it's super fast to unmold which I do love that idea and then of course it gets harder after a few days when it gets time to sort of dry out so we are going to give this a go I do also have some pigment dye here and what I'm going to do is put some of this if it turns out all right in a separate container and then I'm going to add some pigment because I don't know I really couldn't find that many instructions so here it goes we're just going to do a little bit at a time and mixing it look can I show you can you see that it basically looks just similar to um, if you're mixing just like sort of um, powders that's what it reminds me of a little bit like jasmine eye and it looks super smooth so so far so good I am very excited to actually use this and from what I can actually see it's really really easy um, to just keep stirring it it's similar to jasmineite or concrete where you can't just let it sit there for a long time you do need to mix it and make sure you know everything's good and I mean look at the consistency of this and I have not even added all of the water in that they say now when you measure it up do make sure that you are measuring this up in weight so I've measured this up in grams I really suggest you do the same measure this up in grams and obviously we want this to be totally mixed once this is mixed I'm going to then you know get my little uh, other container and do that now to be honest now I'm going to show you this uh, and I let so if I pour it in here because I'm going to just take some red can you see how liquidy it is very easy to pour um, so I'm just going to see and I'm just going to put a tiny bit of this in so we'll just see if this may not work because it's not uh, I'm, I'm just a bit dubious that this is the right amount this is the right sort of dye that I can use and I'm I'm not a hundred percent you know sure that it is but anyway we're going to give it a go what's the worst thing that can happen it doesn't turn out and then I'll know for next time so when you're doing anything um, you know where you want to sort of make a gorgeous you know marbled look of course we've got this in here so we'll just make sure we give this a big stir make sure you get everything off the bottom and um because we want it to make sure it works perfect then we do have this here and we're just going to pour this in now I actually got this from the website because on the bag it doesn't show it but I have a funny feeling it's meant to be one powder to one liquid that's my funny feeling but on the internet it doesn't say that so anyway 
we'll give it a go. I mean, who knows? The internet's never right, is it? So anyway, let's just go. We will pour it straight in here. If it doesn't work, we will know for next time, won't we? Because it does look very, very liquidy and I'm a bit concerned about um, it being too liquidy. But anyway, we're going to see, aren't we? You know, the worst thing that's going to happen is this little tiny bit doesn't work out and then I will know for next time. So you can see here, we just give it a little tap just as you would for anything else because we want all the air bubbles to come out. Uh, and this is what you would do if you're making jasmineite or concrete, anything like that. But I'm actually pretty sure I'm right. I reckon it's a 50 powder, 50 um, water. So I'm going to do a little bit more research. But And do you know what this used to be used for, which I honestly, I can't believe it. I mean, I've never smoked in my life, but... It says this was originally designed um, for sailors and that on the ship because they used to put this in tobacco so that um, the tobacco wouldn't go bad. I mean, the thought of smoking this in tobacco amazes me. I like there's no way I'll do that, but I mean, I wouldn't smoke anyway. But, you know, that amazed me when I read that. I was like, really? Uh, hasn't, hasn't society changed so that we look into things that we put into our body a lot more? Um, but anyway, that was very interesting. So now we've got this in here. Like I said, we've got this in our container. Um, and I'm going to let this just do its thing. Now, I was thinking because we've done this, maybe now with this one, maybe we should do one that is 50% of the powder and 50% um of this you know of water so let me just go and get some more and i'll bring you back and we're going to mix this and see if that is better and we'll see the difference um so we'll just add some more in here all right so in here i have some more powder and then i have the water so i've got 100 grams in here and 100 grams of water so i thought look let's just do this and we'll see how this works so let me move the scale because we don't actually really need that anymore I'll pop that on that side and let me just slowly mix in this water and i will see what the difference is because as i said it just feels very watery to me i mean maybe it's just it's meant to be that way i don't know but um i just would have thought that there should be less water Alright, so I have mixed this up and look, it, it just is exactly the same whether I put less or more. So I think I'm going to have to play around with this, but maybe it's just meant to be like this. Um, you know, we, we will soon see, won't we? But look, if I look at this, I mean, this just looks like water to me. So I'm a bit, I'm a bit concerned. So I'm going to do a little bit more homework. Okay, I am back everyone. After some testing, it is definitely um, one part water to three parts of the mixture. Now, if you can see in here, I've actually added some, can you see how thick this is? I actually added some mica. So mica definitely thickens it up if you're going to use that. So we're going to just try, I'm just going to pour some mica into this and um, let me see if we can get that beautiful look that we're looking for because I always like to add you know something to make that waterfally type amazing look so let's just wiggle it into this one and we will see so I'm going to see how this turns out compared to um, how the last one turned out when I used jasmineite um, and you know you kind of need to wiggle it if you can see how I'm wiggling it around to kind of get a different pattern um, and I definitely like this one maybe a little bit more because it's lighter so I think it's going to come out with a beautiful color maybe next time I will add more mica into that one or color whatever I'm I've also ordered some pigments from the UK so we're going to see if those pigments work and they are water-based so I think that will work and I've got a funny feeling this liquid one that I bought maybe is an alcohol based or acrylic based so um, I got this from Sud Off so go and check it out if you're looking for something but just do a little bit of homework first because I'm not 100% if you can if they are the right ones to use with this particular product but you know this is what I say everyone it's all about testing and this one that we did before I can already see it's hardening up 
um, and you know like I said we're going to leave this we'll just leave it and see what happens the worst thing that's going to happen is it doesn't work at all and then we're back to square one but so we are going to leave that see how it goes I'm going to bring you back and I'm sure you won't mind coming back to see what I'm up to so I wanted to show you this one that we did at the start now um, I've got, just got a little kebab stick and we're just going to give it a bit of a poke now can you see it's already hard there's only a little bit of liquid on the top uh, and this has only been maybe five minutes so clearly it sets really well I had like a little earring cast so I thought look let's just put some in there we'll see how that works out and see how hard these um, actually are like and I know because I've got this super close can you see those little um, you know just like little pigmenty type things in this so I'm not sure whether I didn't mix it well enough or um, I'm because that's like the little stony bits so I'm thinking maybe next time I need to mix this longer to make it get to a really thick paste before I put it in the mold so I think that is the one thing I did wrong but that doesn't matter we'll fix that up next time it's all a bit of learning isn't it and this is the second one so you can see I've added some glitter into um, the product as well so I will come back in 30 minutes we'll unmold it and um, see how these are going hello my friends we are back so to uh, tell you all what I found with making this the one thing I found is it is definitely three parts uh, of the um, powder and one part to water 100% that's what you do so I pulled this one out this was just some I had left obviously it's not the right uh, you know this isn't the right sort of thing but this is the top to one of my new candles and I made him but doesn't he look really cute uh, and he look if you can see this like I've literally just pulled this out it's hard like it's really hard it's not like a plaster or anything it's basically like half cement half plaster so I'm loving this and the one thing that I thought is really good is they're lighter to sand than cement so um, you know your typical concrete candle so I do think that's probably a good thing and that would be the top but usually this would be thicker but I didn't have enough so he was a bit of a test uh, and I've used mica to color him and I kind of like if you can see up close that the mica that I've used in this um, and I didn't mix it a hundred percent it's kind of made that real vintage uh, you know that sort of bony vintage kind of look so I think it looks really cool like hopefully you can kind of see at the back but anyway he was a tester I also did do some of these little earring bases not that I'm you know going to have earrings or anything but um, I just thought these were really cute um, and this I just had some extra left so I thought look we'll just pour them in the earring mold and you know there's some more in there so anyway so you can make earrings too if that's what you want so let's do a comparison so this is the one that we made with jasmineite remember so we'll pop that one there and let's open this I haven't opened it so from my understanding with this basically what you want to do is after you've taken all of this out you've done all of you know exactly the same as we did here with um, the jasmineite what we're also going to do is just simply undo it and then of course you know you want to sand the back and make sure it's all amazing later so let's take this out so this is what it looks like it is definitely a different look but do remember that this one still has the water retention in and this one does not uh so obviously you know we need this one um you know to settle a bit more i mean the air bubbles are very similar you know on both of them um so i wouldn't say either one's you know different like this one looks lighter and that's only because that one has started to dry out so this should look exactly the same so in the only difference is this one is much heavier uh, than the jasmineite which is much lighter and they're exactly the same same mold so that's a bit of a difference with that but you know it's all like I said it's all just whatever you think and whatever works for you now this one I did use this pigment dye that I got from Sud Off it's not a very strong color in this even though it's red uh, but I really think either mica or acrylic paint would work best in this and then this is what this has looked like when we take it out now one thing I can tell you that I really like is this is much smoother than jasmineite that's one thing I noticed straight away uh, both of them it's much much smoother so I really do like the look I mean doesn't that one look cute 
so um yeah that's what i've done with that one but obviously if you use an acrylic paint it'd be much brighter but it depends whether you want this kind of duller look or brighter look but i'm sold on this um you know i really am sold on it it's a bit, bit cheaper than jasmineite a uh, bit more expensive than concrete but just depends what you like and then that's the back um so like i said they are my pink ones don't they look amazing so i'm going to be popping those onto a little rack to dry soon but we will give them a bit of a sand first i've already given this one a sand even though it looks a little rough um but it's not it is quite smooth and of course i'm going to be putting a bit of a glaze on them i do have some jasmineite coating uh, but there's lots of different ones that you can use but i'll be using that i think on these i'm just going to give them some more time to dry out um, but like I said, all in all, I really think these ones are a bit smoother and from my understanding, you don't need to be sanding this like you do with jasmine. It's a little bit different. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed watching this and uh, seeing how gorgeous they're going to look and um, hopefully you love them. And of course, like I said, we did make him and we did make some little earring pieces, which is very cute. You could obviously make these in different colors. You could paint them because you can paint this product too so anyway it's a sell for me and i'm very very happy with it so thank you to the people at barnes for helping me out um and a huge thank you like i said to zara and tracy for being absolutely amazing giving me some tips and tricks because i wouldn't have found this product without them so you know we all need help sometimes don't we my friends anyway thanks for listening and you will start to see me make some of these when i get my beautiful uh new candle molds some of them i've been waiting for five weeks now uh, from overseas and one of them I've just ordered uh, from Lee Moulds but it does say on their site that they're ho having holidays and they will um, send them out when they're ready. Anyway thanks for listening my friends. Bye for now.